Once again, welcome to my secret underground lair. As you know, my plot to control Spider-Man's thoughts last week was what some schools of thought might call unsuccessful. And if I had movable hands, I probably would have used air quotes there. Now, the only reason why you have all not been turned to hot liquid magma is because I have a plan to eliminate Austin Powers. Now, my overly elaborate plan begins like this. I don't I get it, boss. Why not just kidnap the guy, bring him here, and deal with him then? You just don't get it, do you, Gotti? I have devised an easily escapable situation to capture Mr. Powers and assume it all goes to plan. What? My plot involves sending Arnold Schwarzenegger to draw out and destroy Mr. Powers. Once he is out of the picture, the world will be mine! Okay, so, um, I don't really have much to say here. That's right. Your dog is not going to be saved and there's nothing you can do about it because you're nothing but a girly man. Okay, but please let my doggy go, Mr. Schwarzenegger. I will not let your dog go. And listen to me now and believe me later. You can't do anything about it. I have a stronghold over your dog. And that's just not some obvious way of mentioning what today's message is about. Well, hello, baby. Can I just say that it's great meeting you, Mr. Schmelzen, Mr. Swoozen, Mr. Schnitzel. I think I'll just call you Alma, baby. I just have to say, I thought you were smashing in that zany holiday classic, Jingle All the Way. Good movie. Really? Because, you know, I didn't think it did so well with the critics, but I always thought it was my best movie, and I... Uh... Wait a minute! Nice try! You're not getting the dog no matter what you say. No one can release him from the stronghold I have over him. In one last attempt to hit the audience over the head with the word stronghold, I think it's Dr. Evil who's got a stronghold over you, baby. What are you talking about? How much is Dr. Evil paying for this little gig of yours, baby? What do you mean, paid? Yeah, baby. You have to be getting paid to be carrying his orders out like this. Well, actually, it's not, uh, not exactly, uh... Well, then, you must be getting paid something out of this, baby. A movie deal for Kindergarten Cop 2 or something? Oh, goody! Well, not really. Then it sounds like he's bossing you around, man. And that's just not groovy, baby. You might be right about that. I should be upset and hurt, but I just don't have that kind of range. It's all right, baby. Why don't you join me and fight the good fight, baby? You are right. Someone should be prepared to be terminated. Yeah, baby, yeah! Looks like we have ourselves a doctor's appointment. An evil doctor's appointment, that is. Yeah, and I have the prescription to fill for him. I'm sure you do. I have no patience for this doctor. Right, baby. I plan to give this doctor the cure. You finished? Yeah. Then let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs>